Ray Groovy Cats, welcome. I thought it was probably my turn to make a video as Mr. Roland has been making them all. Um, today we are going to learn how to create a story where um, we're going to use events. We're going to create an end screen, so at the end, as well as have the story so that the characters can actually move their legs. So let's get into it and see what it looks like. If you want to see, here's an example of the project. What a nice day to go trick-or-treating. Hmm, where are all the houses? I'll go through this path. Walk, 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 walk with the legs moving. Ooh. A ghost appears. A ghost turns around, runs away. The ghost chases him. And then, I'm so lonely. So, let's figure out how to make that. First thing we're going to do is we are going to click Create. Once we start out with Create, you can then obviously start out. And the first thing I'm going to do is delete me because you don't need me for this. And we are going to choose our background. So for this, I'm going to choose a background of this castle path. And we're going to walk along this castle path, and my cat is going to start out here. So I like to start out my stories when the flag is clicked. Under looks, I also want to make sure that my cat shows up. And motion, I want to make sure my cat is there. And then we've kind of started it off. This whole project kind of comes down to using the different costumes that your sprite has. So the cat, uh, the, the Scratch Cat is actually great for that because there's two different. So when you go back and forth it, the, between the two costumes, it, look like, it looks like it is working. So I want to make sure that under looks that he is wearing his first costume to start it. So this is all the stuff I do in the background to make sure that we know. And we're going to go in the backdrop castle. So I haven't even seen our cat yet. Um, all these things happen and then he shows up. So he's on this path. He's walking up to the castle and he's going to go along to here. Okay, so let's figure out how to do that. So the first thing we're going to do is go into events and we're going to broadcast an event called walking or walk. Here's my event called walk. So I'm going to broadcast walk. And when the cat receives walk, this is when we can have him actually start moving his legs. How do you make him use his legs? Well, we actually use a switch costume and a weight block. So I'm going to go like this, switch costume, and we're not going to, I'm going to do 0 0.2 seconds because they're going to switch between costumes. So if you right click and duplicate that, it looks like this. So we're going to switch to costume two, and then we can repeat that as many times as you like. So he's going to be walking that way. So he's already good, but this is what it looks like. So when I receive walk, so here we go. So there it is. The cat looks like he's walking, but he's not going anywhere. He's just staying where he is. How do you make him move? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to decide where do you want him to walk to. So I'm going to drag him up here. And as he's getting farther away, I'm actually going to make him smaller too. And we're going to glide there. So that looked like about four seconds of walking, maybe three seconds of walking. So we're going to do glide to there. So let's do this. Now it looks like our cat is walking over there. Um, as he's getting there, I want him to be getting smaller. So I'm going to look into that. So I'm going to have him change size by minus 10 each time it repeats. And we'll see if that works. Let's try this. Okay, so minus 10 makes him way too small. And 10 is too many. So we're going to do 5. And we're going to change size by minus 5. And now we're going to have a cat. Oh, but he's so teeny tiny we actually have to set size to 100 when it starts. So, so far we've got a cat who's walking away and he's getting smaller as he gets further away. That is perfect. So that you can now use for just about any story. And as he gets here, I'm going to have a ghost come out of the forest. So after he's done walking there, and you know what? When the story starts, maybe he's going to say something. He's going to say, a perfect day for a walk exclamation mark so it's a perfect day for a walk he walks he gets smaller and he gets to the place life is good and when he gets there we're going to actually have to create another event which is going to make the ghost come out so we are going to broadcast a new message called ghost now you may be creating your own ghost on uh, the thing but for now i'm just going to try and search up what they have for ghost perfect so the ghost comes out so when the story starts, the ghost is going to hide. And when I receive the ghost looks, the ghost is going to show. The other cool thing I think we should do is when the ghost shows up, we should actually have it change the ghost effect so it looks more ghostly. 
and we'll do 35. I think that looks good. So when I receive ghost, show up. Let's see how it, and so he's gonna pop up here and he's gonna be small. So I'm gonna have his set size to 40%. Actually, we'll do 60% here. So let's see how this looks. Perfect day for a walk. The ghost shows up. The cat doesn't notice the ghost. Now the ghost is going to make a sound. We'll just start that sound. And then the cat's going to hear that and turn around. So then we're going to have to create an event that says broadcast sound. So when a cat receives sound, he's going to turn around, see him, and run away. So when I receive sound, you're going to looks. So I'm going to duplicate this costume. Turn him. Duplicate this costume. Turn him. And he's going to run away. So now he turns. So we're going to switch to costume three. So when I receive sound, looks, switch to costume three. He's going to say, ah, ghost. Ah, a ghost. And then we're going to record a sound that says, ee. So let's record a sound. Eek. I want to hear the k. Go save into our code, start sound recording one, and then he's going to run. Now, the great thing about running is we can actually duplicate this whole thing right there, but instead of switching to costume one, we're going to do costume three and costume four. And he's going to then, he's going to do that, and he's going to glide to. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, I'm going to pause. It would change size by plus five so he gets bigger again. I also have to have him glide. So we are going to then bring him back over here. Looks. Motion. Glide. Four seconds over here. Actually, but he's running, so he'll go faster. He's going to glide three seconds over here. And we're going to broadcast the message run. So new message, run. When I receive run, I run. Broadcast run, and he's going to run over here, and then he's going to hide. All right, let's see what we got. Here we go. Perfect day for a walk. And he runs away. Perfect. Now the last thing we'll do, we're going to broadcast sound and wait maybe. Um, and then, so then he hides. After he hides, we're going to do one last message and it's going to be called the end. And this is where the ghost is going to say goodbye. We broadcast the end. When I receive the end, he's going to motion Glide to the middle. Three seconds. Say, I'm lonely. I'm lonely. Looks. Hide. And then he hides. And then we're going to switch to a new background. So let's add our next background, which is the end. So you click paint, grab a text box, choose your font. V and click out. Make it big because it should take up the whole screen. Maybe a little smaller than that. V and if you want, you can do another text box that has your name. Bye, Cameron. Maybe a little bigger, different color. And there you go. Right in the middle. The end. Bye, Cameron.
now in the code, the last thing we do is click on our ghost, change background to the end, and let's check it out. Perfect day for a walk. Walks get smaller because he's going far away. Oh, only thing we need to do is have our ghost be over here when we start. So to make the ghost appear over here, we actually have to go to motion. And when he starts, he's going to go there. Now that should work. Perfect day for a walk. Get smaller. Sees a ghost. Runs away. I'm lonely. The end. All done. That's beautiful. Give it a title. Mine's going to be called Lonely Ghost. And click share. And once you've done that, if you click copy link and copy embed, you can actually put it right on your website. Awesome work. See you soon.